That's right. Here at Mowers and Blowers, we push them into the garage and they come out driving. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Good morning. Beautiful day today, but it's cold. Uh, it's about uh, May 9th, Monday. And uh, thank you all to uh, the ones that donated money to uh, my son's playoff baseball trip. Uh, they won the regionals in Utah, and now they're off to Pennsylvania for the World Series. Division II club baseball. Anyway, thanks a lot for you guys. Uh, I feel like you're part of the family, and I appreciate uh, all the support you've been giving me. Anyway, I gotta get some tractors ready. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, like five or six tractors. I need to get one of them ready for sale. Gotta get rid of them, you know what I mean? Uh, I just, I've been working on push mowers and tillers and stuff, and uh, I was working on welding the deck to the Murray. I wanna try to get the Murray going because it has the triple bagger system on it. So I'm trying to patch up the rotted deck it's interesting, I like welding, you know, I'm not good at it, but you're never gonna get really good at it unless you keep practicing, right? Well, I was about halfway done with it, right? I still have about three or four more, uh, two or three more patches to go. Uh, I need to find some sheet metal that'll fit the, that area, you know? But I ran out of that wire, the .030 or .035 uh, core flux wire. Anyway, I ordered some, I didn't wanna leave the house. I didn't want to work on it anyway, so it's going to get here in a couple of days. In the meantime, I want to get this tractor running. This tractor, as you guys remember, is a long project that I've dealt with like uh, all of last season. It runs. It starts and runs fine and mows. I used it to mow my lawn like four, four or five times. Problem is, this is the Kohler Courage engine that I've had that you remember I took a lot of episodes to fix. It had like a thousand cracks in it, whatever. It still kind of leaks oil, which is the reason why uh, I want to get rid of this engine because it's not reliable at all. And yet, this is a good tractor too, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as you know, I redid the deck. The deck is in great condition. Everything else works. I just need a reliable engine in here. As you can see, the only thing wrong with the hood is the light lens, that's it. So an engine and a light lens, that's what I need. Oh, you guys remember Boba? You haven't seen him in a while. Anyway, uh, also this is my uh, progress on the grass growing in the uh, trampoline. Still looks like hell. Uh, this I got, uh, I don't even remember where I got it from. A uh, local friend, whatever, gave me two to fix his uh, riding mower, if you remember. Anyway, this one has a steering problem. Oh, well, actually, maybe it doesn't have a steering problem. <laughs> I actually have a deck for this, okay? Well, look, this has the good lens, but the problem is this is not the same kind of lens as that one. That one's almost separated like this, you know? So it's not really the same. Uh, Nick from Bellport gave me a deck for this. So I want to take this engine out and put it on that one. This is a 20 horsepower Intec. I don't remember whether or not this runs or not, but today I'm going to try to get this over to the front and... See if I can get this engine running. If I can, I'm gonna take this engine off and put it on that one over there, right? And then uh, eventually put another engine on here and put the deck on. This is like not a priority, but I do need this engine though. Another plan I have is, this is a complete tractor. Deck and everything. Uh, this engine is a little less powerful. This is a 17.5. I. I think this runs, that's what the guy told me, it just needs a battery. So that's, this would probably be next after that. And then I have a running Husqvarna too. But this one also has a Kohler Courage in it and it has the same problems that one has. It has a crack in the same exact place. That's because it's a Kohler engine. <laughs> they, they, that, that's where the cracks are. Uh, anyway, this is a, th I drove this into the backyard. So it, the engine runs, I just took the battery out. Uh, so this is a good possibility too. But my priority right now is to eventually uh, patch up the deck to the Murray, swap an engine and get that one out of here, you know, and sold. 
This one I can work on later on. Uh, one of these tractors has a steering problem. I don't remember which one. But apparently this one's okay, look. I remember that one of them, I, I would turn it and it would go click, 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 you know? Like the sector's all messed up. Anyway, um, I've got one of my many uh, tire inflators. I'm gonna inflate some of these tires just so I can roll it to the front. Okay, uh, that didn't take very long at all. Um, this thing's great. Uh, I, I inflated all four tires in no time. Still has plenty of juice in it. Um, I don't know, now I'm starting to think about it. It doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Why am I taking the engine out of it, right? Everything seems to work. I could have sworn the steering was bad though. It's fine. Uh, you know what? I think it's because the guy replaced the um, drag links and uh, he put it on backwards, which is why it bows out and touches the wheel. That was the issue with it. Uh, it's also missing the hangers to the deck, so that would take a lot more trouble to try to fix, you know what I mean? So it's a, I don't know, but we do need the 20 horsepower tractor for that though, for sure. Hmm, I gotta think about this for a minute. Well, either way, I gotta get this tractor uh, going anyway. Uh, not going, but I need the engine out of here anyway. I gotta get one tractor going, right? And we, either way, we gotta find out whether or not this uh, engine runs. It's all moot if this engine doesn't run. So I'm gonna roll this to the front, see if, where am I gonna pile all this stuff in my front uh, driveway. Got a golf cart sitting there. Got the Murray sitting there. Neighbors love me. Okay, as you see, I put in a brand new battery. Well, I got it last summer. summer. Uh, you guys wanna see if it uh, turns over? First, we gotta put something over here in case you get chlamydia by sitting there. Okay, we got a battery in here. Let's see if it cranks. That's bolt. It's down, ready? Let's see if it cranks. Pull some fluid in there, huh? No air filter. That is no good. Sure start. Starting fluid. Choke it. Let's see if it starts. Ooh, 
How about it? Cool. Let's see if we have any gas. Should we just put some gas in and see? Gas tank is dry. It's got some stuff in it. I think we have to get rid of the stuff in there. I have to take the gas tank off. You know what? It's just a couple of branches and some dust. Just take this rag and shove it in there. Just swirl it around. It's a little moist in there from, I don't know if it's water or old gas. Just swirl it in there and just pick up most of the stuff. Not bad. I got an air filter. It's a little dirty, but it's okay. Better than no air filter. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just going to put some gas in there. Expensive gas. 449 right now where I am guys. That's enough just to test. So we'll crank it a little bit. Uh, see if it starts up, fires up by itself, runs by itself. Then you know the, the carburetor is clean. Let's check the oil. Oil is kind of dirty, but it's at level. So we got plenty of oil in there and doesn't look contaminated. You can tell if it's contaminated, it looks too watery, it doesn't. So we're going to keep choking it. Let's see if it st uh, starts and runs by itself. runs by itself which means the carburetor isn't that dirty however it surges meaning that the carburetor is still dirty especially around the pilot jet area so unfortunately we have to take the cover off take the carburetor off and clean it but let's first and see if it actually moves you know by itself <laughs> We got a free tractor with a working engine and everything seems to work forward and backwards. Now I'm kind of thinking, maybe I should just try to fix this one. There's the carburetor. I took it off in time lapse. It was filled with like oil and stuff, and uh, I just brushed it off with like a brush, you know, just so when I open up the bowl, stuff doesn't get into it and cause me more work, you know. So uh, this is it's. I mean, obviously it runs on its own. It just needs a little bit of dialing or cleaning in this fuel adjustment uh, area, 
If I don't, I have another one here from another machine that looks much cleaner. It's the same exact one. You can just simply replace it and see. But uh, it runs on its own, so I I think it just needs a little bit of cleaning is all. Um, so this is a Nikki 6 carb, and this is an, a real one. It says Nikki on it, see? So to remove the bowl. Oh, man. Need a flathead or something. You're a flathead, Henry. Maybe an impact will work. Impact always works. Uh, I try not to push down when my thumb is there because about a year or two ago, I jammed this right in there. I actually have an outro that says that, that shows it. All right, let's see what the condition of this uh, bowl looks like. Not bad at all. Really good. Really clean. So that's why it ran by itself, you know? I'm just gonna clean it out a little bit. Some contact cleaner. It does have the fuel solenoid on it, which I don't like. I'm gonna blow out the rest of the stuff and then we'll work on the uh, fuel adjustment screw. Okay, I put the, uh, the the electricity back onto the fuel solenoid. See if it moves. It does pull down and does retract. Pull down, retract, pull down, retract. So I guess I'll keep it on there since I know it works. Uh, I don't like them. I usually just cut them because they cause problems. When you push it down, it feel a little resistance coming back up again, which is why I think I want to cut it, but I don't know, it seems to work. So I'll leave it. I'll leave it for now until we have problems, you know. Blow a hole through here. Blow through the hole, I mean. I don't want to lift this part out because when you lift it out, there's a maze type of a gasket. It's very difficult to get out. And uh, it runs on its own, so it, it just needs something, you know. Oh hell, what if I, what if it is a problem? Uh, I hate taking this off. There we go, now we're screwed. See what I mean by a maze? And look, it's clean. Oh, son of a bitch. Did you see that? That's the jet. And it's a little dirty there. Just blow through the holes. hope the, the gasket maze stays where it is blow out these holes emulsion Oh, I almost dropped it on the floor and the maze would have definitely came out. All right, well, I mean, it looks okay. It looks pretty clean. So you see, normally with carb spray, and this is gone, normally with carb spray, uh, you blow up this gasket, but as you can see, I've been flooding this area with that plastic gasket and it has not come off. I mean, blow up. Now, let's see, how did this go? A little thing out over here. It's the jet. I always forget. Does it go in this way or the other way? I think it goes in this way. So I put the jet back in. And you gotta put it in like this. You match up the maze, and I guess you shove it in this way. And it can only go in when you feel it. There. Well, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Let's test it. It 
that's good. Put the bowl back on. Man, just like that, there's like dust in there or something. And I don't think it matters which direction you put it in. It looks, looks all um, symmetrical to me. All right. Works as it should. Now I have to remove this black plastic thing because this what this is what stops it from being overly uh, pushed out or uh, backed out or in. But every time I try to get this off, it breaks. Breaks the needle, I mean. See? Look. Just broke it. Broke the needle. Isn't that ridiculous? Ridiculous. Happens all the time. <sighs> Just did all that for nothing, man. Okay, look. There's the broken thing. I don't know if you guys can see. But I can slowly turn it and back it outwards. If I can get more of it out, I'll be able to extract it and replace it with another one. Enough of it is out that I can kind of grip it. Ooh, look. Yeah, baby. I shouldn't say yeah, baby before I get it out. Look at that. Look at this. Boom. Extracted. Oh, man. What a high. That's all I wanted to do. Was this? Now we see it's clean. Now I have to find another screw to stick in there. I got another one here. This is probably good, but this one already has the black plastic thing off of it. So I'm just gonna easily pull it off and replace it. Only because I I've already cleaned that carburetor that I just took the needle out, you know? And I don't want to have to clean another carburetor. Not to mention the fact that I know this works, right? So look at this, this is clean. I'm just gonna shove this back in here, screw it in all the way, and then back it out one and a half. That's how it goes. You know, now that I think the threads are not good because I was uh, grinding on it. Oh, that's good, all right. Put it in all the way, and then back it out, one and a half. One, two, three. That's about that. 
So now I'm gonna put the carburetor back on and we'll see if it runs better. Okay, I was looking at this uh, hose here. This part here is trashed. I'm gonna replace this 90 degree angle fuel line with a newer one. By the way, guys, Quinn the Mailman is back on the route. I saw him the other day. He's been coming early, so I haven't been up to see him. Henry, you do wake up early. There we go. All right, release the hounds. So now we've got uh, fuel going to the newly cleaned carburetor. Honestly, it really wasn't very dirty. We had a uh, setback when I broke the damn fuel adjustment screw but we fortunately were able to extract it and uh, now let's see if it runs well are you ready all right let's go choke Got to give it some time for the fuel to drain into the bowl, I guess. I hope. Hmm. Oh, duh. See? Fuel solenoid switch. It's not plugged in. So the valve didn't open to allow fuel to go in. Now fuel's going in.
so much smoother right at high throttle but when you get to the low throttle it uh, still surges and you can't seem to get it to idle very low without it wanting to stall and um, surge so I'm thinking this little little tiny little thing here is lost its um, flexibility therefore I'm just going to make it tighter and that actually helps it believe it or not that's what this little wire is for look everybody screw the mailman hello welcome back oh, welcome nice. back Quinn good my hands end up being dirty with all the ink from these things anyway <laughs> good to see you back man good to see you you're looking good you feeling good I just gotta get the leg strength back and <laughs> so wasn't it good to see Quinn again that must be rough huh getting paid to sit on his ass for three months while he recuperates from his ankle well I'm sure it was painful anyway uh the only thing I can think of it, you heard it was kind of popping and backfiring and stuff right usually that means the uh the um valves while it doesn't it's not hard to start right uh usually with valves are out of whack it's hard to start but it could be the other way around like it's um too tight maybe so it's pretty easy to do the valve on this and i almost guarantee you it's never been done before right so i'm just gonna try to do it uh <laughs> it's been a while since i've did valves actually i'm gonna get this to top dead center and i only know how to do it easily with uh screwdriver and taking out the spark plug so i'm gonna do that i'm not gonna So it's better in terms of doesn't pop anymore. Uh, the valves were a little loose. So just a small adjustment and we're done, you know.
tile right here. The watch the stall. So, uh, it runs great at high throttle, though. Okay, as you guys saw, I changed the carburetor to a Walbro. Always have good luck with Walbros. Uh, the fuel solenoid attachment was different from this, so I just cut the valve. Uh, this, if it works right, I'm gonna have to replace this with a straight tube, not a 90 degree angle one. Uh, here's something that's interesting, okay? Uh, when I took the fuel line off the old carburetor, right? Fuel shot out like the gas tank was under tremendous pressure. So I think this va uh, gas cap uh, hole is no longer there. It's not venting, you know? So that may have something to do with it. So uh, this is a new carburetor. I mean, I cleaned it and everything. Let's see if this runs better with the wall broom on it. Interesting. Doesn't start at all. <laughs> That's no good. That's no good at all. It's weird. Lowest idle right here. So it runs.
there you go. Slight adjustment on there, and uh, this wall bro runs great. Uh, there is a little bit of a fuel leak going on. It's the fuel solenoid. I'm gonna put the old one back on there and see what happens. So look at the gas cap. It looks like it was placed somewhere where it was super hot and it melted the hole closed. So I'm just gonna drill a hole right in the center. There you go. Now it's gonna vent. So I just put another, um, put the fuel solenoid from the first one back on. I don't know. I, I don't know if uh, they fit wall bros. It might be a little bit deeper. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see if it starts up and runs. Runs just fine. I'm gonna get a fuel line that goes straight in and then put all the plastics back. And then, uh, then we're good with this, man. This, I don't know, I might have to think about maybe fixing this instead. Okay guys, I uh, went and swapped out the uh, drag links. Uh, the guy that had it before had it on backwards. I swapped the left one into the right one, the right one and the left one, and check it out. Look at that, look at that steering angle, huh? And wheels do not touch the drag link as designed. So you just had it on backwards. It was relatively uh, simple to do, but nevertheless a pain. But We've got the drag links fixed. We got the second carburetor that runs well on this engine. We did the valves on it. Honestly, this seems like a tractor that I might want to fix instead of uh, the other one. <laughs> uh, here, let me show you again. Here we go. We're gonna make a right turn. And as you can see, it stops right there. And that's how it's designed so that it won't touch. Same goes on the other side. So the oil. It's okay. And the hood. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we go for a ride? Oh dear, 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 check it out. All the time we've been out here. Why this right rear tire just went flat. We're going to have to put some uh, ATF in here, what y'all think? I mean, these tires, they don't look like they're dry, well, or dry rotted or nothing. There ain't no cracks. Looks like we're just going to have to seal the side beads a little bit of ATF. What y'all think, huh? <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do an oil change because I'm not satisfied with it. Looks yucky. These are one of those uh, quick release ones. You just take the cap off. Right? Then you twist it and pull. There you go. That's all that oil there. Pretty black. Right? So we'll put 1.3 uh, ounces of new SAE 30 in here. And then, uh, I don't know, it's 20 horsepower engines. Decent. Runs good now. Drag links are fixed. All I need to do is get a deck and put it on. Uh, my buddy Nick from Bellport gave me a deck. It looks pretty good. Gonna have to paint that, but I haven't been to Home Depot in a while, so I don't have any more black paint. Also, uh, it's missing a few hangers. Also, this seat sucks. But other than that, it's a decent mower, man. New battery. And this was made in... Oh my god, is that... Is that 01? Oh, 07. It's an 07. Decent! Okay, just about stopped. Push it back in. Turn it. Put the cap back on. That's all it takes change the earl on this thing pretty easy actually uh, these things aren't very reliable though sometimes they break while you're riding vibrates whatever cap comes off all the oil spills out and you blow your engine so we're just gonna put in some SAE 30 plus motor oil from Lucas oil this is like a couple of ounces put another jug in after this what do you guys say? Go for a ride? Let's go around the block. I wonder if the headlights work. Wouldn't that be amazing? The Murray started it up. Worked. All right, let's go for a ride. drag links, change the carburetor twice, give it an old change, oh I said that already, you know, I need a cap for the steering wheel, I think I have one too.
Just went to the backyard, found the two front hangers, and I believe these are the rear ones. I'm not sure. And I found a cap. Yeah, baby. Uh, I might be missing one more thing. I'll figure that out next episode. So how about it, guys, huh? Got another free tractor from the backyard. Got it to run and drive today. Did an oil change. Fixed the drag links. Switched out the carburetor a bit. Uh, found a cap for my steering wheel. Went out for a test drive, ran great, full throttle, you know what I mean? No hesitation. I guess I'm going to get the uh, deck that I got from Nick from uh, Bellport and try to find the parts I need, the hangers and stuff. Get the uh, mower deck on here. And then we're going to go buy some paint eventually and uh, maybe get this sold. In the meantime, I need to wait for my uh, flux core wire for my welder so I can continue fixing the deck for the Murray. That's pretty cool. Tractor time. Thanks a lot for following me on today's episode, guys. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. <laughs> P.S. Guy screwed this up. I'm going to see you next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel by...